Hello good people, welcome to my YouTube channel, Magnet B here. If you are new, kindly make sure you subscribe to my channel to be getting new updates day in, day out on the on transcription jobs. So on the three webinar series that I promised you on the first webinar, I'll done the introduction to a bit. So kindly before you view this video, make sure you view the first webinar that was on introduction to a bit and introduction to legal jobs. Due to many complaints from the newbies that the account usually currently have only legal jobs that's why i decided that i'm going to major into this so that only can start work we can start working on the bit legal jobs on today's we webinar i'm going to concentrate on the legal jobs and their requirements so legal jobs are based basically in a court setting in a court setting as we all know there are attorneys court reporter the court mainly in many job verifying as the court with the judge and other personnel in the court so that before you acquire a, trans, a legal job from the platform kindly make sure i've gone through the general guidelines that are usually used on all the transcription jobs in verbit legal jobs green light jobs verbatim jobs all of them usually they use the general guidelines so my people make sure the first thing you do you've gone through the general guidelines before majoring into the, the legal jobs so when you acquire a job in the from the platform, a legal job in this case, make sure you read the specific requirements, guidelines on that job. Because the reason why I'm, I'm talking, I'm saying this is because some jobs require, for example, the court reporter to be called the reporter and other jobs require the court reporter. So I want to first of all say about the roles of these personnel in the court on the roles i'm going to speak about the roles of this personnel that you have just said i found in the court let's start with the court reporter kindly make sure you go through the specific instructions because some jobs require you to call him the court reporter and some jobs require you to call him or her in that case the reporter so make sure you are well conversant with the guidelines of that specific job you are good to go the court reporter is the one that introduces in the case usually in, in a court setting as you know the witness must be sworn in so the witness is sworn in by the court reporter the one who says make sure you will do solemnly swear that you are going to ascertain to blah 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 all that that's done by the court reporter which i said in some jobs they call him the court reporter or the reporter according to the specific instruction personnel number two the attorney attorneys sometimes he might be one two sometimes even more so attorneys are the one asking questions to the witness appertaining to the case so when an attorney is asking questions to the witness we use Q meaning question and A for the witness meaning answer. So the attorney, <coughs> sorry, the atton, attorney is asking questions to the witness. And the witness is the one answering questions to the attorney. So when the attorney is asking a question, it's Q. When the witness is answering, it's A. So to make it e easier sometimes to work on these jobs, Make sure you use something like mail one for the attorney and then mail two for the witness. In that, because it's so tiresome to keep changing each, each time, writing QA, writing QA, it's a problem and it can be tiresome. So I can advise you to need mail one, mail two, and then after you are done with the job, make sure you remember to go back to the attorney. Maybe let's say, let's say you named him mail one. You go and click, right click there. Type A, replace with A and replace all. In that, it will be easier because when you, you, you click mail 1, mail 2, it's automated. It will be writing automatically. So it will be easier to write mail 1, mail 2 and then to come later and change all of them to Q and A. Remember, it's Q for the attorney and A for the witness. Sometimes in a court, as you all know, there are objections. Lawyer, another lawyer, can ask an object a question that lawyer number one, that's attorney number one, has asked the witness. In that case, 
we don't use QA. We refer to that attorney number two, Mr. Last Name. Let's say the name of the lawyer number two who is now interrupting something that has been asked by attorney number one, scheduling attorney. Let's call him, let's say, Mr. Floyd. Mr. George Floyd. Sorry for that, Mr. George Floyd. So, Mr. Last Name, Mr. Floyd is the name we are going to use on the speaker title, Mr. Floyd. Let's, let's say, for example, the first attorney is Mr. Ian. Mr. Ian Microson. So, his last name is Microson. We are going to use him when referring to him, Mr. Microson. Let me bring it practical and easier to understand. For example, the scheduling attorney, the Q, was asking questions to the witness. And then attorney number two interrupts and says objection. On the speaker ID, we are going to use Mr. Last Name, Mr. Floyd in this case. At the same time, after interrupting, they can continue conversing with lawyer number one for some time. In that case, lawyer number one, who was referring before as A, as Q, I mean, sorry for that, as Q, we are going to refer him as Mr. Last Name, Mr. Microsoft. Hope you get that. That's the best way. To recap, legal jobs are based on a court setting. The court reporter swears in the witness. When the attorney is asking witnesses a witness questions, we use Q for the attorney and A for the witness. When an attorney interrupts an, another attorney, we use Mr. Last Name to refer to him on the job ID. This has been the second episode in the three webinar series that I promised to produce. In the third webinar, I'll be answering questions on any clarification that you people may want me to answer. So kindly comment here on the comment section any question you might have uh, on legal jobs. I'll be ready to answer you by maybe three days from now. You can ask any question that you want me to answer and I'm going to answer in the third webinar. Thank you for the new members. Kindly remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to be getting such updates day in, day out on transcription jobs. Today it has been on legal jobs. The next time I'm going to start up with the newbies on how to start up with Babbit, opening an account and everything about Babbit. Kindly make sure you subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video to the end. See you then. See you there. Thank you so much. Bye.